Hi, it's Rebecca from The Lipstick Gal, and I am doing a unboxing video today Oops, for my birch box. Now, the one hard thing for me about living out on the west side of the United States is that my birch box comes way later than everybody else. My friend who has um, the blog Furnished Souls, Freya gets hers almost a full week before I get mine. I get to see pictures of hers on Instagram. Here's what I got, or she'll do a review on her blog. And I'm like, I still haven't even got mine. And so what I did, and I do this sometimes, I try not to because I like the surprise of not knowing what's in it, is I'll go and I'll look on uh, Birchbox's website. I'll log in as myself, and then I'll check to see what's coming in my box. And I did that this month, so I purposefully decided not to have any makeup on today because I wanted to show you um, what I wanted to do a quick open it up so I'm gonna do that while I'm talking to you and I'm gonna put the products on and this month they decided to team up with Glamour magazine and for their five senses box and so there's gonna be some fun stuff in here so take that off and let me show you I did bring a couple of extra things like mascara my new Le Curler from Lancome, um, some brow fix from Anastasia that I use on my eyebrows, and this is from last month. It's the Balms the Steamiac. So these are things that I'm going to be using along with what came in my box this month to put on an easy summer uh, face of makeup, and we'll just see how things go. So I'll be showing them to you as we go along. All right, so of course there's the card. I'm not going to get into that. I'll tell you how things are. The first thing I see, of course, the really cute little earbuds, and there are, supposedly is a Spotify playlist on there as well. They also sent me a Lara Bar. This is the Banana Foster, sweet and salty, um, except for the fact that I don't like bananas. I'm sure it's delicious, but I'm not a banana fan, so my two and four-year-old will probably fight over to see who gets that. Um, I also got the Amica Nourishing Hair Mask. Um, and this has their Oblifica and Argon oil mix in it. And this looks like it's going to be interesting. I have obviously really curly um, frizzy hair, which could use a nice good conditioning mask to it. So thank you, Amika. And I was so excited to see that I got one of the Ico. This is their Skinny Liquid Eyeliner, and it's in black. Oh, I'm so excited. This, this, this right here is like the best thing ever. So I'll be using that. And then in their little bag here, um, I'm going to start putting on my face pretty quick once I see everything else as I know what's in here or I, what should be in here. And that's what I need first to start out with. So in here, um, they sent the Harvey Prince Hello, Hello, Hello scent. Um, and so I will try that on in a little bit. Um, Amika's oil treatment. It's their Oblifica oil treatment and it's kind of like um, if you have been using um, an oil treatment uh, like Moroccan oil or something, this is supposed to be similar to that. It has some argan oil but it also has Oblifica which is the um, sea buckthorn berry and it only grows out in um, a certain part of the ocean out near I don't, I don't know, I think Russia or something. Anyway, but it has a lot of omegas um, and it's supposed to be really good for your hair. So it's, hooray, hooray. I'll try that too. I might actually see if it calms down some of my frizzies. It's towards the end of the day. Can you believe I went a whole day without makeup? I was waiting to see, well, my Verge box is coming today. But the one thing that I wanted to start with, um, let's see if you can see it. It's the Bosha BB Cream and it's SPF 27. And so this is what um, I would need to start with here for my face. And so I'm just going to start putting, I'm going to give myself just a little bit, squeeze more, and I'm going to put this on and tell you what I think about it as, um, as I start. But uh, I love the idea of BB creams because this has abacene in it, which is uh, another deep sea sort of um, sourced ingredient, which is good. It's, a, it's got some... Um, antioxidants it's got some other stuff the thing that it, that I love about BB creams is that it has like your moisturizer so if you get out of the shower after having washed your face at the beginning of the day you can put this on it has your moisturizer it has your serum it has your um, enough tint for the day that you don't you know theoretically I probably need a little concealer for my under eye area um, but it has everything that you would need 
here I am pulling my skin like I am not almost 40. <laughs> um, but it has sunscreen, it has the serums, it has the moisturizers, it has everything that you would need. This also has a little bit of light diffusers, reflectors in it, and um, it has a really nice feel to it. It dries, has a nice kind of moisturizing, light feel. It doesn't feel, it doesn't smell like anything really substantial. I was worried that maybe this color was going to be too dark for me. And so far here, it doesn't really seem like it. Um, I do have this one little patch here of, uh, like when I sat out in the sun too long in my early 30s and this big sunspot came up. Beware, SPF at least 15 to 30 all the time. And see if I can cover up some of my blemishes right here. Yes, we just had our time of the month, ladies. If you're not a lady and you just saw it, you're like, oh, TMI, yes, TMI. I'm a lipstick gal and I talk about those sorts of things. So, you know, a little BB cream is perfect for the summer. Enough coverage to kind of give you a nice little, and you have a perfect face. All right, so at that point, what I would normally do, um, a little bit of a, I'm using last month's The Staniac to give myself a little bit of um, flush here for a cheek color, just a little bit. And what I like about these is that um, because this has a little bit of, um, a gel texture to it, you know, you can apply it with the wand and then kind of blend it with your fingers, is that it doesn't really need, you don't need to put a lot on, a little goes a long way. And you'd think that, I've been using this a lot, and you'd think that with all the use that it's seen over the last couple of um, weeks since my last box came that it would be gone by now. <laughs> it's a little goes a long way. That is a very true statement, and I love this because it's gel formula means it takes a little bit more effort. It doesn't immediately set like some of the other stains I've had. My lips are not very hydrated right now, so I will put a little bit of this on. And you can immediately see that light pop of color. And for summer, I like to do a kind of a minimal face, just enough to make it look like you're, you know, wearing some, but not too much. I'm going to put in my brow fix from Anastasia. I got this um, from Sephora, which I love. It's, it's actually a completely clear pencil. And basically, with a, it's um, kind of a waxy texture, and it just helps my brows stay in place without using anything like a clear mascara through them. And so there's that. Now for the Ico Black Liquid Liner. Ooh, it's got a really nice felt tip on it. So I'm going to get really close here. This might be a bad idea. It might have been smarter if I brought a if I brought along a small mirror to do this with. But as you can see, I'm using my face here to anchor my hand with and um, just kind of pulling it along. I'm kind of doing this fast and dirty and since I don't have a mirror to look in quickly, this may not be the best application of liquid liner. But if you have a, a mirror you can look closely into while you're doing this, you'll probably have much better application than I do. Because looking into a screen while recording a video, probably not the best way to do this. A little crimp of the eyelashes. Let's see if I can do that pinching my eye lid. And I love, by the way, I love this new Le Curler from Lancome. It was $23. And it's kind of like, I already have an eyelash curler that I've been using for years from Revlon. And a lot of it supposedly is from the silicone pad and the special hinge here. And I was like, whatever. Um, but I really like it. I really, really like it. And it makes a huge difference. And then a little uh, mascara. I'm using the Precious Cells Definicel Mascara from Lancome. Yes, I am a Lancome girl. I wear a lot of Lancome makeup. You know, so a little something in the brows, keep them in place, a little BB cream, a little cheek flush, a little lip gloss, a little this, a little that, and there you go. I think in better lighting, you would probably see that it looks better. <laughs> I don't have good lighting right now, but I like a little more pop of color in my lips, so I go with a little more of this, but that's what came in my birch box. 
And I love that they're giving you stuff that you can actually use. And uh, yeah, so the eyeliner, hooray. The BB cream, I really like this. I might actually have to get this. Um, the Hello, I haven't tried this yet. Let's see. This is that Harvey Prince. Hmm, it's nice. It smells like summer. The Amica stuff. Let's see what this uh, hair oil is all about. Let's see. Ooh, it's very serum -y. It comes out. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's very thick. A lot of the other stuff um, is not quite so viscous. This is some serious stuff. Ooh, it smells citrusy. I like that. I'm going to try and see if I can tame down some of my curls. Oh, wow. That got rid of the frizz right away. Did you see that? See over this, all this over here? Let's see what happens to this. Oh, hello. This is nice. I like this. I might have found my new hair best friend. We'll see how it washes out. That's always the problem, Mater, is it does it leave too much residue? Is it hard to wash out? And I don't want it to. My hair almost never looks greasy when you put an oil product in it. But I like how it kind of just calmed down all those frizzies really quick. So, yeah, good stuff. Good job, Birchbox. Hey, thanks for watching. For the Lipstick Gal, I'm Rebecca. Hope you have a great day. I'll put more information down in the bar below. Um, and I hope you follow me on Twitter. I hope you'll check out my blog. And have a fantastic rest of July. Thanks. Bye.